Hey there, this is Pura Jeraj. I'll be welcoming you to another episode of Atomic Hearts. So after we defeat in our boss battle, now we going to enter our facility then. Okay, this is VDNH, comrade journalist. Hmm, I expected something a little more uh, grandiose. Okay, this yeah, is... Yeah, everybody thinks that. Oh. But there's nothing here, right? It's just a park. Follow I need to. You'll see. Oh, and get your camera ready. What did you say your magazine was called again? World Robotics Today. <laughs> well, we've got today. The world won't get until the day after tomorrow. He is supposed to be go back. Do I need to? Uh, the mirror on the left isn't working. Something is jamming the mechanism and preventing the mirror from ascending. Got it. Looks like it's back to the basement for me. Well, I need to go back. Is this safe? Oh, so I need to pull this thing out. What the? All right. No entry and a skull and crossbones. That's encouraging. Where am I? The magnetic shock absorption system is located on this basement level. All the rooms here are full of mobile electromagnetic clusters. I can use an EMP on them. It's not gonna kill me, is it? Let's hope not, Comrade Major. What? So I could get crushed by a falling wall of magnets? Theoretically speaking, that shouldn't happen, but this is merely a hypothesis. I've never been here before. Seriously? That's weird. Well, whatever. More screws, magnetic. Got anything over here? Okay, okay. Just need to use a uh, opposite direction of it. This is safe. Saving data. Yep. We have to save more data. Oh while located in the area with strong magnetic fields, you can use shock or co magnetic coils to charge the polarity, okay. Before that we see anything to lose. Okay. At least give me a health, it'll be better for me. Yeah, something over here, but I can't. Why are you stuck over there? Might I remind you that you can change the magnet's polarity with a single shock charge? Ooh. Seeing what we can loot. Comrade Major? Have you made it to the VDNH? Kinda. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm kinda almost there. I'm in the magnetic shock absorption chamber, looking for a way to unlock the entrance doors. Can you open them for me? No, I can't. I don't have the skills. This is your responsibility. Then get off my grill. Ooh, this. Before we did, and we kind of okay. I'm gonna check real quick. Do we need to jump over there? Oh, we need to. Okay. 
I'm gonna double check with it. They got there was something over there. Can I really take it? Oh, almost fall. Yeah, they can't do anything over here. Oh, they got things over there. There's nothing over here. I can't. Oh, no. don't hit my head through it. I'm begging you. What what just happened? I can go through by Oh I can come down still, okay. Don't fall. Chance seen Oleg? Depends on who Oleg is. My partner. We work here together. He kept saying these things would be the death of us. We even bet on who would be dismembered by magnets first. We got separated when everything went to shit, so I don't even know if I won. You got me. Oh, bummer. Well, the dead shouldn't bother the living. Mind your head. On your head. Oh, it's just nothing, just right. Okay, how I do? <coughs> oh, you almost hit me, though. Can I reach there? Oh shit, should not be happening. I can't. Those freaks and their goddamn mustaches again. Any ones? Okay. You gave me so cruel to me. You didn't give me a help packet. That was easy. Give me a help. The things has been given only one thing. They never give you the help. What is this? Oh, even there's a. Okay. Give me some. Said the game now encounter me a help package. What's the point of this fucking maze anyway? The magnetic shock absorption system was developed by scientists from Kiev Polytechnic University. It's a very complex and comprehensive device that alters its configuration according to the situation. So it's plan B in case of a natural disaster. Among other things. But it is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic shock absorption system. Here, under Earth conditions, the system will be perfected so that it can be deployed in space. Cool. Science is power. There's no denying it. But we still need to find a way past all these goddamn magnets. More magnets.
You're hunting over there. Taking all the stuff. We had hats, we had suits, we had boots. We didn't have a plan. Uh, what are you talking about? My partner and I used to service the magnets here. And each day we worried we might get grounded if we got careless. Wore rubber treated pants, swallowed pills, put tinfoil under the hard hat. Anything to avoid getting torn apart by the magnetic field. But it was the robots that killed you. Nah, come on. Not the robots. It was poor judgment. We should have gotten weapons and body armor. You see, the problem wasn't the robots. It was lack of preparation. You should always know what's going to happen. Hmm? You can never be ready for everything. God damn it, that's a miserable excuse. Take my advice. Hmm? Never part with what you can use. Always think twice before wasting a bullet. Stay low and make short runs from one shelter to another. Never investigate anything unless absolutely necessary. Following your advice would make life pretty damn dull. Do what I did and you're gonna live longer. Look, uh, there's a hole big enough in your logic to drive a truck through, but whatever. All right, what is this? Oh. Yep, health time. All right. Okay, let's see, we have to travel to opposite side over here, I think we need to jump. Are you shitting me? There's a one way to travel, what? Oh, there's opposite side! Oh wait. I'm gonna double check this. Okay, now I understand. Okay, this is try to at least. <coughs> Alright. Ah. Charles, what the hell does Molotov have against Dr. Sechenov? Why do you have to cook this commission up two days before the launch of Collective? Everything's ready. Exactly because everything is ready. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Indeed. The malfunction Petrov caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing Facility 3826, and by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. He's the one who made the robots turn the facility into a heap of corpses. I'm afraid Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are, but neither does Comrade Sechenov. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Glove? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To be precise, Comrade Major, it's you doing everything you can to fix this, not Dr. Sechenov. But he's the one who sent me here. But why did he do that? Think about it logically. Comrade Sechenov and Molotov both have something to gain from preventing information about this terrible malfunction becoming known to the rest of the world. Because no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. Everybody would think that Soviet robots are dangerous. Quite right. But what conclusion should we draw from this? Only that, hypothetically, comrades Sechenov and Molotov should both have a vested interest in ending this nightmare as quickly as possible. Fading Isn't that right? Yeah. So what? We're seeing a common everyday power struggle. 
Instead of going to the government and having troops sent to Facility 3826 to destroy the hostile robots, arrest Petrov, or end this in some other way, Dr. Sechenov is doing everything he can to conceal the tragedy from everyone, including the government. Are you kidding me? Why? How he had it fell down from that far? Okay, I'm gonna check. So I'm not going up. Now oh, this is up. Oh! There's opposite direction over there. I thought I can loot something. So need to travel the opposite. That's me. I need to. All right. Okay. Why to be so far? No. Seriously, why jump so that further for me? Oh, almost been half. So which side? They can't send in the army. There are too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy and then it's all over. But only reliable men could be sent to the facility, such as the Argentum unit loyal to Sechenov. They could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? But that's, I mean, ugh, crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? Because Dr. Sechenov can't deploy troops or combat robots without the authorization of the Politburo. On the contrary, he's doing everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know what happened. Why do you think that is? Because his enemies would take collective away from him? Now, when everything's built and ready to go, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. It's all Ooh. done. Just fix the malfunction and press a button. Geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail over what happened here so he can take over the facility himself? To be exact, he wants to lead Collective. But how can he? Everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal than others. Is that white or red? Let's look at white. Alright. Ta da! No, I know that high-ranking Communist Party members will have more authority in Collective than ordinary citizens, but that's fine. I mean, somebody's got to make big oh, decisions, buzzer. right? Is that so? Why, pray tell? Well, first off, somebody has to be responsible for carrying them out. It's not like everyone can be responsible for everything. Everyone means no one. Someone's got to take responsibility. The buck has to stop somewhere, right? And if the whole world did nothing but debate big decisions, no one would ever do anything. They'd spend all their time talking. But what if you're wrong? You say that the entire world would never stop discussing important decisions. <clears throat> collective is a collective mind. Having merged into one, mankind will instantly know everything anyone wants to express. And in this singular collective, Responsibility will be determined not by fear of punishment, but by awareness. 
Has anyone ever reached that level? Even here in the USSR? We're not perfect, to say nothing of the rest of the world. Absolutely right. The world may not be ready for the launch of Collect. The Soviet Union's leaders understand this. That's why the party will have special discretionary authority within Collective. What's wrong with that? That's how it's always been. Has it really? Or has there always been one indisputable leader? A puppet master controlling the politics, the council of ministers, and all the rest. Are you trying to say there's going to be one single leader in Collective? I'm trying to say that people will connect to Collective via a neuroconnector. You mean a thought device? Everyone knows that. The thought device is for ordinary citizens. But individuals in privileged leadership positions will have special engraved connectors that grant them a higher priority on the network. So even the leaders will be equal. That's a good thing, right? It would be. But Collective can only be launched via the Alpha Connector. It's the key to everything, including assigning discretionary authority. So Dr. Sechenov has the Alpha Connector right now, and Comrade Molotov wants to kick him out of the facility so he can take the Alpha Connector for himself. Exactly. The number of people killed here as a result of Petrov's betrayal is a precious little concern to Comrade Molotov. He wants to take control of Collective, that's why he's on his way here right now. Crispy critters. I never liked that guy. He's always complaining about Sechenov, but I never expected shit like this from him. We gotta hurry. Okay. Oh, oh, there, there, there was a mistake. Okay, just... Oh, something just fell onto me. Going to jump like that? Oh, I just jumped like that. Alright. Okay. Fading data. That was sweet. What is that? Snowball blueprint? Yep. Finally. So this little thing is the reason everything's all jammed up? <laughs> this place is nuts. You can ascend to the surface along with the mirror. For once, you're right. I'd probably reach Nirvana before I could make it back down the way I came. Wait, I just jumped down? Have you infiltrated the VDNH yet, Comrade Major? The government's commission's condor has already left Moscow. They'll be here any minute now. If the commission hasn't landed yet, that means there's still time. Just let me work in peace. Shall I report to Dr. Sechenov that it is his requests that prevent you from working? Yeah, you can report on how you ran away from those robots on the maglev platform instead of helping. I am not a soldier, comrade major. I am doing intellectual, not menial labor. Smashing robots is your specialty. The only labor you're doing is talking my ear off. Right now you're wasting my time and slowing down my mission. What? Nothing. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. Yeah, I freeze your ass. Then I'm gonna hit you one more time. There you go, so much of. Oh, what now? An eternity looking at this worthless hunk of junk? The backstabbing machine that killed me?
Hey, hey, it'll pass. It's a phase. It'll pass. It's already passing. I can't even remember my own name anymore. But his metal mug is still there. I still remember the bastard gutting me. They told us robots were going to replace us. As staff, I mean. Well, they certainly did. Only they did it by slaughtering us all. That's some replacement, isn't it? Oh well. Just leave me alone. I want to doze off. Alright, leave you in love. Lutin Alistar. Come on, easy we have today. Alright, we might look the looting system all after charts. I love it. It's a one of the best looting system in the game. Just look everything right there. You open up the every doors. The only thing that gave me is a health. Oh, that's why. Yeah, other than this. There was something over there. I might do this swipe a bit further so y'all can slowly post here and can read it. Okay, I'm gonna go to another section over here. Wise block. Hopefully it's safe for another section. I have an axe. Dead bodies all over the place. Okay, yeah, robot sound over here. Hopefully it's no body in sight. Let's open up. Hey! What the heck? What? What is just uh, doing here? He's like... Okay, it'll be a... Uh, good place to a battle. What, what is down here? Oh! He just place it down there. And there's Tereshkova's arm. What's that metal pervert doing with it? That is a robot waiter. Who's serving the people? Fuck that! There's no way I'm leaving that thing alive! What the? Yeah, freeze! What the? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Haha! <laughs> cool down, buddy! So I can do my favorite loot over here. Give me some loot. Ooh, it's underneath over there. What? Oh, that's why I couldn't get... Alright. Alright, this is be Yeah, 
ये मैं मोस्टा वही इस 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 और ये ऑफिस ही वही आई कैन टेक इट होल्ड आ मैंने टेक ऑफ ये They're looting all this place. Anywhere? Oh, they got more table. Actually, under upgrade my, under create some s new weapon. Yeah, one or two. I'm gonna upgrade a new weapon, create a new weapon. Actually, I'm gonna do. Okay, let's see. Need a help too. Before I leave, got anything? Oh, dear. everyone I took a look at some recordings of your tours <laughs> why are they so boring graphics are this and that kind of robot yada 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 and then you get all technical uh, there are kids there you know young pioneers octopus you got to keep them entertained yeah watch this this is robot graphic he's really nice and friendly he might be a little on the chubby side but uh, he's really neat or, I don't know, he kicks ass. You want us to say ass in front of the kids? You know what I mean. Don't say he kicks ass. Say, I don't know, something else. Make the tours fun. Let the little buggers crawl all over the bots. Let them ride them or something. I don't know, they're safe and fun. We need to get the kids interested in robots, not put them to sleep. All right, I think that's off. So we might open a gate for the next video. So I think I might end this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed this series. Feel free to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I'll be seeing you for another episode of Tommy Hut. So see you. Be safe and thank you for the scene. Thank you.